Good morning guys, I'm Taurus with Unique Me 33 Healing and Empowerment. I am going to be doing a reading for my Taurus Virgo Capricorn today, so all my earth signs um, for the second half of October 2019, so the 15th through the 31st. Sorry, I'm just getting with you guys because I'm on vacation, I've had a bunch of stuff going on, so I haven't been able to get to the last three elements um, until today, so hopefully I'll get through all three of them today and you guys won't have to worry about it anymore. But um, before I forget, um, because I had forgot with the other ones, I didn't bring my affirmation cards to, to give affirmations 44 and 33, I was told to tell you. Um, so I didn't give, uh, I ha actually had some extra um, affirmations that had came in just intuitively. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you the ones that came in today for you guys. Um, the, the phrase, change the way you view the world, came out. And it was in bold letters, so make sure that you're seven seven and five five. <laughs> and then I am bold. But um, those two came out for the Earth signs for the second half of October. And then um, <clears throat> I really like the way that we had extra cards coming out for the last Ascension reading and the Water signs reading. So I went ahead and asked that they do that again today, like an overall theme, and then we'll do a regular reading. And what came out was Ariel. It says, new psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. And instantly, I got empathy, which was the very first card that came out with the confirmation card. So empathy is really big. Uh, this month as well as um, activations of DNA different DNA being rearranged um, either rearranged moved around some taken away some added uh, things like that but um, I'm hearing a lot of Kundalini awakenings A lot of people are starting to hear with, with their physical 3D ears, um, spirit. And I'm just feeling like a lot of heat. And, and I've been going through, and so is Nick, the guy that I'm staying with this weekend. Um, he's been going through Kundalini stuff. So this is, and then I talked to a, another friend of mine who's going through it. So it just must be really present in all of the elements. But I'm, I'm hearing more so with you guys right now. Um, but anyway, um, so the empathy card came out. And instantly I got different um, tones and ringing in my ears. So a lot of you may be going through some of that. Um, the, the uh, frequencies uh, changing or switching up in your ears so you might be hearing that but a lot of you are just really starting to connect with people that are all around you in the room when you go to a store you're starting to get overwhelmed with uh, picking up on feelings of other people's pain and sorrow and even happiness uh, the good things as well but I've seen you guys just like picking up on these things and uh, thinking it's your own symptoms so make sure that you're putting a hedge of protection around yourself when you go uh, into like stores or out in public where you're going to be around a lot of people so that you can protect yourself somewhat from all of those energies affecting you because usually an empath uh, it's not their own emotions and feelings and pain and stuff that they're feeling it's somebody else's so pay attention to that um, <clears throat> The next card is just discrimination. Well, first of all, this is the number 12 card, which adds up to number three. So the Ascended Masters are working with you on this gift of empathy. So make sure that you can you call on like uh, Jesus, Mother Mary, Isis, Osiris, whoever. Whoever the Ascended Masters are that you work with is the ones that you need to call on. So um, anyway, the next card was discrimination. And I was told to read manipulation with it. So this is the number six card and this is the number eight card. But what I was told about this was that there is going to be people people while you're going through this change and transformation of these gifts that are coming online and and all of that that there's going to be people that are going to uh, say harsh things to you they're going to say things that are not very nice um you're, you're just going to have discrimination in all kinds of uh, sense of sense of whatever what I'm, I'm whatever i'm trying to say but anyway the discrimination that most of of us is getting is from ourselves so make sure that you are pushing through the rest of this ego that's dissolving or uh, ego death or whatever because this is part of that but anyway manipulation came out with that there's going to be people that are going to be trying to manipulate you into working for them because they know about your spiritual gifts there's going to be people that are going to try to convince you that they're not the same all kinds of different things that are going to go on with manipulation um 
as well as this is outside uh, sources, beings that are coming from other planets or solar systems or what have you that are uh, messing with some of our thoughts and stuff, really trying to, to mess us up right now because what's going on is all of us light workers are going through these major shifts, major changes for 2020. Um, from now till February is just nothing but transformation, ego death, Kundalini awakenings, mastering gifts, um, all that stuff that I've been talking about for so long in my in my videos is finally starting to come to fruition. So just pay attention that there's going to be people trying to manipulate you. You're going to have discrimination. <laughs> you're going to feel all of those feelings because you're becoming empathic or already empathic. But it's going to be pretty bad for a little while. So just hang on. It's going to get better. Um, the last card that came out with these was restlessness. And this has to do with the DNA um, transforming or changing or shifting or whatever it's doing this has to do with that so you're going to have really tired nights as well as kundalini uh, awakenings are rising it will make you very hot very tired nauseous dizzy sometimes go out of body um, chills even you could get chills from head to toe and then all of a sudden just really really hot so bipolar with your temperature body temperature so you're just going to be really tired really restless you're just going to be frustrated is what i'm hearing so just push through it it's going to get better um yeah that's basically what i'm hearing so let me just put let me just get this cover no no i have two dogs over here playing sorry guys so let's just go ahead and get into the regular reading and see what else comes out for you guys Shh. no no cover no no get down get down Universal energies. What messages do you have for all my earth signs? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for the second half of October 2019, the 15th through the 31st, please. For all my earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What other messages do you have, please? For October 15th through 31st, 2019. What other messages do you have, please? Are there any messages with these cards? Yes or no? I heard no. Okay. That's really weird. <laughs> Guys could have told me before I kept... Am I supposed to use these? What messages do you have, please, for October 15th? This one. Thank you. Isaiah, it is time. It is a good time to give birth to new ideals and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. This shift is a major shift. It's aligning us to be into our divine life purpose. Um, a lot of people are coming in union with their twin flames and just a lot of creative ideals are coming in as well as ideas of how you're supposed to use your gifts and put them out into the world. So this may be um, uh, ideas about uh, entrepreneurship or things that you're supposed to be writing or doing or what have you. So this could be so many different creative ideas 707 and 808 i was told to tell you and i'm and i'm told like pay attention to there's all kinds of different pressures in your head like your third eye your crown your ears there's you're going to be you're going to be feeling a lot of different energies that are that are letting you know like there's things being pulled and pushed from your head and stuff like that so these are just things that are going on in your dna and once again, I'm seeing like the, um, both of them. Okay. Once again, I'm seeing the, uh, DNA glowing gold. And I've been seeing this a lot lately and I've been hearing ascended, ma ascended being or ascended master. So a lot of you are just really stepping into mastering those gifts or have already mastered your gifts and are now an ascended master. Seven, seven, seven. I was told to tell you. Um, Crystal and Archangel Michael came out together. I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you on your divine life purpose. Not really getting anything extra off of this, guys. 9-11. Crystal, have faith and hope because there's something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see yet. Okay, and I was seeing this manipulation card. So even though there's people manipulating you and telling you that, that, um, that this is not the right thing to be doing, that your gifts are uh, of evil and... You know that's not from the bible or what have you still stand in your truth stand in your power use the use the angels to shield you from all of those harsh um or 
whatever you want to call it, uh, energies of lack, fear, doubt, not having that courage to ask for courage from this angel. Um, as well as I'm hearing something to do with uh, cutting cords. There's still people that have cords that need to be cut. So I call upon this angel one, I mean, 10, <laughs> 1001 mirror. So some of you may be mirroring things and people that you need to change. But um, I'm getting like there's a... Uh, I, I don't really know how to read this, but I feel like it's something to do with self-manipulation, self trying to convince yourself that things aren't really as they seem. Uh, yeah, I'm not real for sure. I'm hearing like confusion, a lot of confusion. I actually heard abundance of confusion, so there must be a lot of confusion right now going on, which would make sense as to why there's so much restlessness as well as the DNA stuff going on. But anyway, um, it's a good time to work with crystals. Get your crystals out and, and, and charge them with the moon, the sun, you know, however you charge them. <laughs> Sorry, guys, the dogs are back here playing. Anyway, however you charge them, and then ask every day, which crystals am I supposed to carry for the energy that I'm going to go through today? And then whichever ones you feel intuitively led to take out and put in your little stone bag or your bra or your... Uh, pocket whatever you do with your stones then you carry them and then you do the same repeat that same step the next day <laughs> what other messages do you have please for october 15th through 31st wow both of them i was told to stop with those Chantel and akasha came out together new romance is imminent either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship be open to giving and receiving of love for some of this some of you this is about a twin flame getting into union with a twin flame um also just a lot of clearing of old baggage old uh stuff is coming along with this twin flame union a lot of Ego death is still going on with it. Uh, uh, Self-worth things. Cover? No. No. Sorry, guys. Um, and for some of you, you may just have a new romance coming in. It may be a soulmate, maybe a twin flame. I don't know. You will know. Akasha. You are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to counsel others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. Use your gifts to help them to see their gifts is what I just heard. One, two, three, four. Okay. Not really getting too much off of this. Yeah. Give me just a second. I think my dog's got to use the bathroom. Okay. Which cards am I supposed to use now? I guess they do want me to go to these now. What messages do you have, please, for October 15th through 31st for all my Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? All my Earth signs. Thank you. Heal away addictions. It is time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing. And instantly I got a uh, reminder of Nick saying that he needed to quit drinking pop. So some of you may need to quit drinking pop. That's what I'm getting. Sugar. Uh, let go of sugar. A lot of you have something, uh, some kind of... Uh, I don't want to say it's sex addictions, but addicted to a certain person. Sex is what I'm getting. Okay. Uh, so I guess it could be sex addictions. But anyway, um, that could be any kind of addiction. Whatever you, you, you know, what kind of addictions are in your life, what behaviors you need to let go of. Heart chakra. The answer that you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving of love. There's going to be a lot of ups and downs with this twin flame union is what I'm hearing. A lot of um, self-worth, uh, not issues, but things that are playing in your mind. Um, I'm hearing stick with the course and just fall, flow, flow through it, go through it because it's going to be okay. But a lot of you may be getting upper heart um, activations right now is what I'm hearing. Um, a lot of pain in the chest and, and, and feeling like it's very spread open in both heart and upper heart. Yes. Um, and I feel like some of you are being called to service right now. 
So um, whatever way you, you're feeling led to be of service, make sure that you're doing this. This may just bleh, might just be helping out other people. This may be sharing your gifts and being of service in that way. It may be helping somebody out financially. It could be so many different things you'll know. Are there any more of these cards that would like to come out? Okay. What other messages do you have, please, for my Taurus? Thank you. Law of Attraction. I was told to stop. Relationships and activities that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies. It goes along with this empathic card. You're going to start to realize where you belong, where you fit in. Um, by using these, these um, empathic abilities, your intuition, uh, your knowing um, of how to... What am I trying to say? I just had a brain fart. I'm sorry. I keep hearing manifestation. Manifestation It was like repeated three or four times in my head. So some of you may need to manifest, work on manifesting things right now. I heard yes. Okay. Make a manifestation journal. So you might start the sentence out with, I am grateful to manifest or I, uh, how do I do mine? I haven't, I haven't wrote manifestation things today. I will manifest blank. So, but this is about staying positive. Um, when you have those, those thoughts that are not so pleasant or, or lower in vibration, you need to counteract them with something that's positive and retrain your thoughts. So take them to a different direction. Um, and I'm seeing like people uh, being in their car and driving places and saying affirmations out loud. I am kind. I am beautiful. I am smart. I am wisdom. I am knowledge, whatever, but I am affirmations. Uh, saying them out loud daily would be um, beneficial is what I'm hearing. Okay. Some of you may be picking up on hearing your animal's voice or the voice of other animals or picking up on the pain and illnesses of animals. So pay attention to that. A lot of you are starting to hear or communicate telepathically with animals or other beings intuition is coming just so on point spot on some of you are going to be restless as well because of travel is what i'm told a lot of people are going through the wheel of fortune so a new cycle um is happening one cycle just ended a new cycle is beginning for many of us and i'm hearing in love so even love is going to make you restless because of all the changes and transformations that you're going to have to go through. So a lot of twin flames and soulmates are coming together to use, like, so that their gifts will be awakened. They have to go through, like, their last bit of lesson so that their gifts will be awakened um, that work together so that they can go out into the world however they're supposed to do that. So if this is you, you'll know that. Um, do whatever you need to do to push through it. It has been a challenge for me to get through these past several days, a lot of spiritual awakenings, a lot of feelings of rejection and um uh, low self -worth. just all kinds of stuff right and it's all like literally from one day to the next complete opposite so you're going to go through all kinds of things with your twin flame or soulmate that is going to help you push you into healing whatever it is that, that needs healed those loose ends so to speak okay you know what's guys thank you camel trust that you have the resources to get you through the challenges before you we have so many beings that are around us and helping us at all times it's just about tapping into them and getting the resources that they have available for you some of you are starting to get akashic records that are coming to you from different um star systems or something to do with the star seed that you star seeds that you are starting to get akashic records those akashic records are going to help you with the and using your gifts that you had in past lives or in other as another star seed those gifts will be brought over into this incarnation and be used to help other people ascend what other messages do you have, please, for October 15th through? Thank you, Roadrunner. Keep your sense of humor and don't take things too seriously.
I'm getting the image of, of people watching like stand up com uh, comedians, listening to them, and just laughing and that being part of their healing. So, if this is something that you need to do, then make sure that you do that. <laughs> and I'm hearing, yeah, a lot of restless nights, a lot of heat going on at night through Kundalini energy rising. So, I've been experiencing that. That's crazy. But anyway, I'm not an earth sign. But, um, a lot of kundalini energy rising so it's going to make you frustrated and not want to laugh and angry and a lot of tears are going to be shed so if it means that you need 1771 mirror so if it means that you need to uh, you're going to be mirroring things in your twin flames some of you as well I'm hearing 2020 anyway um, it might be a good idea for you to watch comedians or listen to com comedian shows and I'm hearing music as well Animal Spirit Guides, what other messages do you have for October 15th through 31st, 2019? Thank you. Is there any more? I heard no. Okay. Platypus and Spider, stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life. A lot of us are probably complaining about the transition that we're going through. It's hell. I understand. There's a lot of pain. There's a lot of sickness that goes with it. Weakness, restlessness, you know. Um, all of that stuff that comes with it that we can complain about, but remember the blessings that come on the other side of this, those gifts that are awakening in you, the mastery that you, that you've gotten to whatever it may be. So try to stay grateful, make a gratitude list if you've got to spider. Trust that you trust the creative spark that you've been feeling and express it through writing stories and inspire and enlighten. And I'm hearing painting. Somebody needs to paint. Somebody is doing a lot of gardening right now or uh, like flower gardens is what I'm seeing. Not like vegetable gardens, but flower gardens right now. This is part of your inspiration. You have something to do with creating different landscapes is what I'm getting. But I'm not really seeing exactly what that means. But anyway, um, this might just be talking about dreaming big, not being afraid to dream big and go for your dreams. Put the actions in necessary to go for your dreams. Um, I mean, to attract those dreams, manifest, whatever I'm trying to say. They're those manifest again. Um, I'm going to pull a couple more of these cards and then we'll end. 20 to 11. Flirtation. So some of you may be having a lot of flirting going on. Um, new romance, uh, new, new flirt or flirtation. I'm not really getting too much more off of that. What other messages do you have, please? For October 15th through 31st, 2008. Whoa. Choice and organization. Okay, I'm instantly getting that some of us have choices to make, uh, a decision to make on um, where they're moving. Or which direction they're moving in one or the other or both maybe um, yeah I'm just hearing they have a choice in whether or not to go through with it and I'm not for sure if this means a romantic relationship maybe because there's a two people here um, but this is a number seven card I'm hearing balance out your options. I'm seeing this balance here, and I'm, I'm hearing balance out your options or weigh your options. For some of you, this is about a choice in which career to, to choose or which position in a company to choose, maybe. And some of you have a decision to make on lovers. You have more than one lover. So if this is you, you need to make that choice and, and stick with it. And this might be where some of this manipulation comes in too. And it might even be making you restless having to, to shuffle more than one romantic partner or love choice. So make sure that you're um, paying attention to that and changing whatever you need to change. Copper, no, we're not going outside right now. We've already went outside. We chill out. Okay, and then organization. This has a lot to do with organizing your thoughts, your 
emotions, uh, like kind of like filing things in an order, like knowing that you feel sad, but knowing that it's just part of this transition, there's nothing that you're really sad about, but allow yourself to be sad. So it's like organizing your thoughts and, and placing them, I don't know, it's just something about getting your thoughts together, um, not taking things so seriously with your thoughts. It has something to do with the inner peace. And I feel like this has a lot to do with getting things together. A lot of uh, tying it loose ends again because of new beginnings. I'm seeing the 10, which equals a one, which is new beginnings. Is there anything else with this card? Okay. All right, guys, I'm not getting anything else. Are there any more cards that would like to come out today? I heard no, so. Um, once again, the, the phrase that came out was change the way you view the world. And then the I am affirmation is I am bold. Okay. Everybody have a great second half of October. Like, share, subscribe, and follow. Let me know down in the comments. 2552, another mirror. Let me know down in the comments if this reading resonates with you and how you're doing. Um, if my videos have ever helped you out at all, please hit the like button. It'll help me get more views, which will help me get more clients and all that good stuff. So, all right, guys. I love you. Bye.